can't scare you. They can't control you. They can't. They, they, they try to suppress you, but that's how they try to categorize They you. can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, not you, man. But they can't control me. You not see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Sean Carter is worse. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This pussy been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 fucking years. Now, y'all, I've heard some crazy thing in these Hollywood streets, but this has got to top them all. Did Solange just spill the tea on Diddy and Jay-Z allegedly sacrificing their sons for more power? Y'all, Solange is on a mission to take Diddy and Jay-Z down now, airing out all their dirty laundry like it's nobody's business. These bombshells dropped right after reports surfaced about Diddy's son Christian getting sued for SA, and she is determined to make it as messy as possible allegedly but y'all talk about a whole plot twist because diddy and his sons are caught up in some serious accusations and according to solange it might not be all that surprising allegedly she's claiming that diddy pushed his son into that situation saying it was some messed up initiation ritual and if that's not bad enough to make your skin crawl solange is dropping some bombshells about other celebs getting into these creepy rituals with jay-z allegedly being among them allegedly solange has been on a roll exposing jay-z led Left and right, but this revelation takes the cake. The thought of him dragging his own son into such a messed up ritual is disturbing on too many levels. So is this the real reason people are saying Beyonce is pulling the plug on her marriage to Jay-Z and filing for a divorce? Y'all better get your teacups and have a little seat because we about to drop all this tea. After the powers that be, the PTB, the industry, whatever you wanna call them, once they're done with Diddy, right? And um, this is gonna be going on for some time, but once, I guess you can say the public humiliation, basically after the major documentaries come out, right? After they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed, right? So it looks like Solange is in her truth telling era and the secrets that she has been telling about the shady part of the industry these past couple of months are nothing short of shocking. In the past, we have had truth tellers like Cat Williams, Jaguar Ride, and even Dave Chappelle sometimes come out to talk about things that happen in the shady sides of the industry where we regular degular people don't always get to see. And it looks like Solange has also joined that group or at least she's trying to when it comes to her brother-in-law Jay-Z because of all the tea that she's been allegedly spilling these past couple of weeks. Has all been about Jay-Z and how he's everything but a child of God. She has also managed to drag Jay-Z's BFF Diddy into the mix, talking about how they're two peas in a pod and have both made some shady sacrifices for fame and fortune. But get this, allegedly she's claiming that there are sacrifices that didn't stop when they just got famous but they have continued to make some sacrifices to keep their careers and fame. But interestingly, Kanye West also backed this up in 2022, when he revealed that Diddy and Jay-Z were under the control of some very powerful people in the industry, and they had to keep proving their allegiance to the powers that be by making sacrifices. It's scary, they can't control you, they can't, they, they, they try to suppress you, but that's how they try to categorize you. They can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, not you, man. But they can't control me. You not see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. Here, my mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah. Michael you. Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood. A lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. This truth is going to be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat meals, y'all puffies, y'all little boozies, none of these names, none of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never killed nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want 
and not go to jail. So it looks like Kanye was trying to expose Jay-Z of taking part in rituals and sacrifices and also hinting that Jay-Z and Diddy were under the control of Hollywood elites and that they had to do whatever they were ordered to do, no matter how crazy or repulsive it may be. Well, it looks like Solange is backing Kanye up on this because she is taking it a step further by revealing the sacrifices that Diddy and Jay-Z have allegedly been required to make and it's worse than you could ever imagine. Now, y'all know how Diddy and his sons have been wrapped up in essay charges and are currently fighting for their lives. Well, allegedly, Solange is saying this is because Diddy allegedly sacrificed his sons. As a result, they're being forced to go through this public humiliation just because their father wanted to be famous, allegedly. But for some context for the folks in the back that ain't been keeping up with the tea, Diddy's third son, Christian King Combs, recently got sued for S.A. And the victims claimed that Christian allegedly tried to S.A. when she was working on his family's rented yacht in December 2022 during their family holiday. She told her story to fans and they couldn't help but notice how similar it seemed to be to the allegations that have already been made against Diddy. She claimed that Christian tried to get her drunk before trying to S.A. her, allegedly. Fans were quick to draw parallels between this and Cassie's lawsuit where she revealed that Diddy forced her to use some hard substances and alcohol before allegedly forcing himself on her and forcing her into these F.O.s with male escorts. The second lawsuit was brought by a woman named Joey Dickerson Neal where she accused Diddy of alleged allegedly spiking her drink during a date. According to the documents, the complaint alleges Combs intentionally drugged Dickerson Neal, leaving her unable to stand or walk. The suit said she left her drink unattended with him at a restaurant, and afterward, under alleged pressure from Combs, she took a hit from a blunt. They then drove to a music studio that suit stated. When Dickerson Neal couldn't exit the car, Combs allegedly took her to a place he was staying to S.A. her, according to the filing. Another anonymous woman also filed a lawsuit, where she claimed that Diddy and a group of his friends, including former bad boy president Harvey Pierre, allegedly S.A.ing her in Diddy's studio in New York after she was picked up in Baltimore by Harvey Pierre. Now, Diddy eventually had to release a statement of his own, where he, of course, denied the allegations, saying, Enough is enough. For the past couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputations, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Well, Little Rod's lawsuit is the latest straw because he straight up accused Diddy and his son Justin of some crazy stuff. More crazy than you could even think of. He also accused them of allegedly drugging him, applying him with alcohol, and allegedly essaying him at a party. He then claimed that Diddy allegedly groomed him and was trying to pimp him out to his friends like Cuba Gooding Jr. But speaking of Cuba Gooding Jr., TMZ reported that Jones claims Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooding Jr. on Diddy's yacht, and Cuba allegedly began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones's legs, his upper inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks, and his shoulders. Well, Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Dill, also had something to say about Diddy and Cuba. Gene also hinted that Diddy might have put the idea in Cuba's head that Lil Rob was fresh meat. It's also, you know, a legend that he met Cuba Gooding Jr. through Diddy on Diddy Yacht. And it even got to a point where he started touching him on his, you know, upper inner thigh near his groin, according to him. Did you see the picture? Nah, I didn't get to see it, but, uh... Oh, my God. Coop, yo, listen to me, man. I don't know if it was what they call it when you take two pictures and they put it together, you know, like that? They, they, what they, what they call it when the, they put the pictures together and... It don't belong together, but they put it together. Whatever. Side by side. Yeah, whatever they call that sh Cuban, Cuban, uh, 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 Cuban Gooden Jr. was so close to that man. I would thought that was his lady. So you seeing on pictures, do you believe his claims? Yeah, I believe his claims. He, he, somebody put something in Cuban Gooden Jr. ear that this was fresh meat or see, can you break him or see, can you do something? Cause don't know other man be that close to no another man, man, for the for that reason. Come on, bro. That's crazy. Y'all, so not only is Diddy allegedly out here essaying people, there are now allegations that he's trying to manipulate and force other people into essaying them. Which is a whole other level of creepy. But Little Rod also named Diddy's son Justin as a defendant in a lawsuit, 
claiming that Justin had helped Diddy get young girls for the party, even though he knew that the girls were allegedly going to have their drinks spiked. Now with this being said, it wasn't all that shocking when Homeland Security raided Diddy's houses a couple of weeks ago, because after five lawsuits, I mean, it's kind of expected. But after the raid, Diddy's lawyers came out to slam the feds and claim that they were just piling on Diddy and trying to cause drama for him and ruin his public image. His lawyer, of course, said, this unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs, and it's nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. A federal officer replied to this and said, we believe that there is a disturbing history of sex trafficking. We are responding to concrete, detailed, explicit allegations. This is not random. We didn't choose his name out of a hat. We had allegations that we're following up on. But even with this statement and knowing the allegations that had been made against Diddy, it was still low-key shocking when Christian was also arrested and detained along with Justin. We knew that Justin had been named in a lawsuit, but Christian was innocent, or so we thought. Turns out, according to Solange, the feds were on to something. They had some insight intel about an upcoming essay charged against Christian. I know they say the apple don't fall too far from the tree, but what is up with these Combs men? The lawsuit was made public a couple of days later and was filed by a woman named Grace O. Mark High, who claimed that Christian allegedly essayed her on the Combs family yacht during a party. According to Grace, she was hired as a stewardess on the yacht that Diddy chartered a few days before New Year's Day in 2023. This places the alleged incident in December 2022. According to TMZ, Grace claimed that she was doing her job during the shindig which she claims was advertised as a family-friendly excursion, and King came on, after which she claims he immediately became fixated on her, uncomfortably so. She alleges King had her take a shot of liquor, and she claims she immediately suspected it was spiked, but despite that, she was able to still get him off of her, leave her alone. She claims King was trying to kiss and grope her, despite her protestations. She recounted that she managed to break free from him after a brief struggle, but then he demanded that she carry out her duties and find him a place to sleep. So she had no choice but to obey and given the nature of her job, so she escorted him to the theater area. However, once they arrived, he allegedly cornered her again. According to reports, King cornered her again and attempted to force her to perform oral sex on him, but she says she fought him off and includes in the docs photos of her forearm, which she claims was bruised in the altercation. Eventually, Omar Kai says she was able to escape, but claims to have suffered mentally and emotionally ever since. Well, allegedly, Solange is saying that there are a lot of things about this that don't add up, like the fact that Christian had never been in trouble before. She believes that Christian has allegedly forced and manipulated by Diddy to do this so that Diddy could fulfill his weird ritual, even though it involves his son getting humiliated. But allegedly, according to Solange, they don't call it a humiliation ritual for nothing. It's also been pointed out how Diddy has this, this weird pattern of forcing and manipulating people to commit or be involved in that say, allegedly. It's also been pointed out how Diddy allegedly forced S workers to assault Cassie pressured Lil Rod into hiring S workers against his will, and even attempted to coerce Cuba Gooding Jr. into essaying Lil Rod. His accusations just don't stop there, because Lil Rod also revealed that Diddy instructed young Miami's cousin to essay him, among other instances. Allegedly, Solange is also insisting that this is all deliberate from Diddy. She's also claiming that Jay-Z allegedly knows all about it, saying that it's his bizarre, creepy thing that Diddy and Jay-Z are into. They're saying she made this solid point about how Quincy was Diddy's only son to not be caught with these shenanigans, but that's because Diddy is not his biological father. Diddy knows better than to mess with Quincy because Quincy's biological father, I'll be sure, had a lot of damaging tea on Diddy and wouldn't have been hesitating to spill it on Diddy if he tried to rope Quincy into that mess. Well, even though allegedly Solange had a lot to say about Diddy, she didn't spill that much about Jay-Z's son, Sir, which kind of makes sense because, I mean, he's her nephew. But word on the streets is that Beyonce and Jay-Z keep him hidden because he allegedly has some kind of disability, which is really sad. But brace yourself for this wild part. The insiders are claiming that people in Diddy's inner circle think it's all linked to some sacrifice Jay-Z made. According to them, Jay-Z's girls and Diddy's girls seem okay. 
but that's just because the sacrifice thing only targets the sons. This is so sad if this is true, so terrible. Fans are definitely shook by this type of news and even leaving comments saying, it's only a matter of time before spirit cooking Jay-Z is exposed like Diddy. There's a reason Kanye said Jay's got murderers. I would know. He's evil to the core. Sooner y'all realize that Jay-Z and Diddy is the root of all evil, the better. And now that they got P. Diddy, please I want them to get that evil witch Oprah and then free Beyonce from Jay-Z. Y'all, this is some crazy wild stuff that's just unimaginable. Are we in a movie or the Twilight Zone? Do you think that any of this is true? Drop your thoughts in comments below and then check out this next video.